I'm really interested in how emerging technologies like artificial intelligence are transforming every aspect of the intelligence enterprise today. My book is called Spies, Lies, and Algorithms, the history and future of American intelligence. We're living at a time of the convergence of all sorts of emerging technologies, artificial intelligence, the internet, quantum computing, synthetic biology, and then there's the commercial satellite revolution with thousands of commercial satellites with capabilities that only spy satellites used to have before. And the convergence of all these technologies is driving five profound changes for intelligence, and I call them the five mores. The first is more threats that can really um, threaten U.S. national security across vast distances like cyberspace. So the threat landscape has never been more complex for American policymakers. The second more for intelligence is more speed. Decision makers need intelligence much faster than they have over the past 20, 30 years, and intelligence is struggling to keep up with that speed. The third more is more data. We are all of us drowning in data, and intelligence analysts are trying to make sense of the threats and opportunities confronting the United States, and they're drowning in that data too. The fourth more is more customers who need intelligence. So voters need intelligence about foreign election interference. Tech leaders, uh, leaders of critical infrastructure like the financial services industry or power industry leaders, they need intelligence about threats to their systems. So intelligence agencies no longer have to produce only for people with security clearances. They have to produce for the open. That's a huge change. And then the fifth more driven by technology is more competitors in intelligence. So today, anybody with a cell phone and an internet connection can collect or analyze intelligence. And what that means is that superpower governments no longer control the collection and analysis of intelligence like they used to in the Cold War. It's a totally different enterprise today.